Hello YouTube, Andrew Marlow here again for my first painting tutorial. Thanks for stopping by my channel and for subscribing. I'm working on this portrait here of a good friend. And uh, this, this is the first stage of the portrait right here. Um, just kind of like a rough sketch. Um, the paint was thinned with um, paint thinner, um, odorless mineral spirits to be exact. Um, that's generally what I do for every first stage of any painting. Now the second stage is going to be um, paint straight from the tube, not mixed with any medium or paint thinner. And I'm going to mix the colors right over here. Um, now basically I'm using white. I'm using mixing white and uh, burnt, what is this? Burnt umber I believe. Yeah. Um, now I used to use um, this color for mixing flesh tones, which is yellow ochre, but it tends to be a little bit peachy. So I switched to the burnt umber and it seems to be working real good. So here we go. Just a little bit of brown because the burnt umber is very, very strong. Um, now, you know, as far as this oil paint is concerned, we're going from, from dark to light. So we're going to keep this kind of on the dark side, a little bit darker. Um, mixing that just like that right about right about right there is what I want so I'm just gonna dip my paintbrush right in scooping up that paint nice and thick and I'm just gonna start laying it right on the canvas just like this um, this this second stage of the painting is all about structure and flesh tones we're not getting into the details of you know the actual face at this stage because this will have to dry I might maybe sketch it out a little bit you know if I feel like it but I think just for this video I'm just gonna quickly show you how I do this um, with this second stage of the painting again um, I don't know what you know what you what you guys are used to but this is how I do it um, generally the first layer of an oil painting um, is usually thinned with, with, with thinner or solvents. Um, the second stage generally is paint straight from the tube. And then the third and final stages are when you add medium and you know you start getting into the glazing and all that stuff. Uh, but like I said, there's not really a right or wrong way to do this. So you know I'm really enjoying just getting this paint on here and seeing how the paint um, and, and also just to, for a little information I'm painting on a, on a, um, a gesso panel so this is not a canvas it's hard as you can see now this is only my third time painting on this type of surface so I'm very excited um, and I did some research and uh, as you as everybody has probably heard canvas was supposedly the most preferred and most durable and long-lasting um, surface for oil painting but I've read some other historical stories and, and other articles that say that gesso boards and wooden panels things of that nature are, will actually last longer and a good thing about painting on a gesso panel is you don't get the light reflected you know through through as if you would through a canvas now you know I'm, we're gonna lose a little bit of the drawing here that I did but that's fine. I'm actually going to, um, I don't have any paper towels actually, so I'm going to get my palette knife. I'm just going to scrape that off because I want to keep that, I want to let that red show a little through. And I, also the palette knife is really good for spreading paint, so don't be afraid to use the palette knife. Um, and then we will just quickly fill this in here and then we can work on the hair. Um, so this is Obviously, the, the, you know, the painting looks weird because it's, you know, only in its infancy, really. Um, so. You know, I'm not worried too much about the details, like I said. Um, you know, I got my beautiful photo reference here. And I'm using that um, as a reference, obviously. So, definitely helps to do that. You know, we can put this color right there where her neck is. Um, and then, you know, I'm actually going to shorten her hand here. And I'm going to do that by just using the straight burnt umber brown. Um, again, we're going to lighten it, but I think I made the hand too big. So I'm going to stop the hand right about there. And then I'll fill, you know, I'll fill the rest of the hand that I don't want in there with the background color. 
Um, so I think that looks a little better. And uh, yeah, that's the second stage of the style that I paint with oil paint. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching.